there's so many business models to choose from that people just get stuck. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to do what they choose to do. And then they keep bouncing between one thing to the next. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what the best business model is right now in 2023 and what steps you should take right now in order to make your first 10K month. So first things first, there's three ways to make money. There's physical products, services, and digital products. Physical products is really good, but it takes capital to start. Digital products are good as well, but it's kind of difficult to do unless you already have an online presence. And then finally, there's services, which is super easy, but it just takes up a lot of time. Most people who are making 0K per month have a lot of time and no money. So that's why services is the best business model to start right now. A lot of people already know this, but then what they get stuck on is deciding which service to provide. Some people think there's a lot of services and others think there's just so little. For most of these people, they think there's only running Facebook ads for e-commerce brands because that's what all the SMMA gurus talk about. But there's actually unlimited services. There's an unlimited amount of services that can be provided to the market at any given moment. It all comes down to your creativity. But more importantly, it's what's in demand right now. You can have a creative idea. Oh, I'll run your entire sales team. Oh, I'll do this. Oh, I'll do that. It doesn't matter. If nobody in the market wants it, then it's not going to work. Before hopping on the services train, you need to think, okay, what do people want right now? What are people struggling with? So you need to evaluate the market. For me personally, I noticed that towards the end of 2022, there was a shift. People were realizing how important building up your personal brand is. Because of this shift, people started investing heavily in content. And I'm talking thousands, like mid four figure retainers to even low five figures. I have some friends who are assigning 10K, 15K clients every single month. People realized how important it is to have a personal brand online and the amount of opportunities it opens up. As soon as I noticed this trend, I hopped on the personal branding train and started doing short form content. Even though there was already a million people on Twitter doing short form content, I still managed to differentiate myself and come out in the top 10. It doesn't matter how many people there are doing one thing. If a service is new, that means the market market sophistication level is at level one. That means anybody can do it. You don't even need case studies. You don't need anything. I had zero case studies and I landed my first client in 23 days. I made a video on that on my channel. Check it out here. Currently, in my opinion, short form content has entered the second level of sophistication, which is people using big guarantees. So you see people doing guarantees on view counts or inbound leads, etc. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is no matter how many people are doing a service, you can still be successful. Because in my case, there were so many people doing short form content, but I still still came out on top. But one thing you have to realize is you can't pick something where a bunch of people are doing it, like running Facebook ads for e-commerce brands without taking into account the sophistication level. These people running Facebook ads, they've been doing that since like 2017, 2016. It's an old offer. No big e-commerce brand is going to work with you when they can easily go and work with someone who guarantees money back. Now, let me talk a little bit more about why services is the best business model for beginners. It requires zero capital. I mean, technically I started with $190, but after that, I I literally just kept reinvesting profits. You don't need a big amount of money. If you try and drop ship, it's gonna take you like 1500 to 2K to test a product unless you're doing TikTok organic. Most of you guys who are just getting started have no money, but you have a bunch of free time. And for those of you who are saying, oh, I have barely any time, you're lying. You probably spend eight to 10 hours a day on your phone. Check your screen time right now. And on top of that, you're probably just wasting your time, not even on your phone, but just doing random garbage. So take a look at your schedule and evaluate what you're using your free time for at the moment. All you need to be successful is three to four hours per day of deep work. If you're telling me you don't have three hours per day to work on your future, you are lying to me. And more importantly, you're lying to yourself. And if you don't have three hours a day, create it. You can create time, eliminate stuff, get your priorities straight. Are you wasting too much time with your friends? Are you playing video games? Are you on your phone? Pick and choose and remove. Yo, real quick, if you're a B2B business doing over 20K per month and you want a completely done for you content operating system that works without you and generates qualified sales calls, hit the first link in the description. That's it. Back to the video. Now that I've explained why services is the best business model right now for beginners with a lot of time and zero money, let me explain how to find which service to provide. I told you earlier that there's unlimited services to provide and I wasn't joking. So more importantly, you need to think backwards. You need to think, okay, what am I good at? If you're good at video editing, cool, offer that as a service. If you're good at copywriting, cool, offer that as a service. You need to think, play on your strengths. There's no point in wasting time learning a new skill if you already had a skill that could easily be monetized. Now, I know there's some of 
you out there who are saying, bro, I have no skills. What do I do? Your best option right now is probably UGC ad creatives for e-commerce brands. Now that short form content got too sophisticated, you can still get into short form content, but it's going to be a bit more competition. On top of UGC, copywriting is a good place to go. Twitter ghostwriters are making bank right now. The other day, I got on a sales call with this kid who was 13 years old and he was pitching 1.2K a month deal and he had five clients. That's 6K a month and this guy is still in school. Overall, there's so many services. Just pick a skill and then work from there. Now, let me go a bit more into detail and explain what it takes to actually succeed. When you wake up in the morning, all you have to be thinking about is your business. You have to think about your business when you wake up and right before you go to sleep. It's now the third most important thing in your entire life behind your house and your family and your relationships. All you need to think about is business, 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 business. If you go 30 days without signing a client, something is wrong and you need to do more volume. Volume negates luck. Send more cold DMs, send more cold emails. I was literally staying up till 4 a.m. I didn't care. I had college final exams, but I didn't care. I already knew I was going to succeed, but it was a matter of time. So I made the best use of my time by sending out thousands of emails, thousands of cold DMs before I even landed a client. A lot of people sit here. They take two weeks to make a website. They don't even make a video sales letter on their website. They don't even have a Twitter account, no social media presence. And then two weeks in, they're thinking, oh my God, this is so slow. I'm going to give up. Dude, you didn't even send anything. You didn't even validate your offer in the market by sending out cold outreach. You didn't do anything. It took me one day to make my website, one day to script and record and post my VSL. And the next day I was already ripping outreach. Three days. You need more speed, 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 go. There's people who are sleeping in when they should be doing outreach. Just sleep eight hours, go eat, go hit gym, do all that, and then go work on your business. Obviously still go outside, still chill with your family. Don't negate all of that, but just cut out all of the bad habits you have at the moment. Cut out everything that doesn't matter and go all in. Now, I know a lot of you are probably watching this and you have school and you also have a job. I don't recommend you quit either of them until you start making money. You need to replace your job's income before you quit. And then whether you want to quit school or not, that's on you. You should either quit your job once you replace your income or once work is actually holding you back from making more money. That's when you quit. I guarantee you can do school, work, and your business at the exact same time. I started this at 17 years old. I started with a clothing brand and then I switched to trading. And then from there, I got into services. I stopped niche shopping and I went all in on short form content. I signed my first client 23 days later. And then I signed my second client like 10 days later. And then from there, I just grew like wildfire. Now I'm at eight clients. Long story short, just put your head down and work. Cut out all the unnecessary things in your life and go all in. That's it for this video. If you want to read and check out what I did every single day at my agency, I actually made a really long Twitter thread where every single day I logged what I did for that day. So you can check in and see when I made my website, my VSL, outreach, etc. Follow me on Twitter. That's the second link in the description. And on top of that, leave a like. If you didn't enjoy the video though, leave a dislike and that's it. Peace out.